Good morning, everybody. Today is Monday, but whenever you see this video, it won't be Monday anymore, but I hope you're killing it this week. Look, I got one of my OG shirts on, the original A-Action shirt, and these are extra hot. So if you are looking for inspection shirts, uh, I think these are Columbia. Go with the Magellan or, um, or the newer Columbia shirts. The newer ones are better. But anyways, I'm in this property today. It's a 2005. 2007 ish property but I'm just going to talk about the exterior siding and they have stucco on the front the neighbor stucco looks messed up this stucco has been freshly patched and painted and the hardy is or fiber cement board don't come after me hardy um, is poorly installed so uh, let's go check it out Okay, starting with the uh, the neighbor's side, you can start to see a lot of little cracking right here, 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 and then also you have cracking at these transition points or the control joints, and then you have a lot of efflorescence running down the side here. If I was to drill this stucco, I would target this area right underneath the window. This looks like where it's leaking, but lots of cracking. And I think this has to do with uh, poor mixture and also poorly installed on the stucco. You can see how big these cracks are, these spider cracks on the edge here. So it wasn't mixed very well. You got a giant crack right here on the edge, spot right there, and then I don't know, let's reach underneath here and see what the substrate feels like. Well, the substrate's pretty solid, so it might be shedding water, <laughs> but not for much longer. And then you can see the spider cracking here, and there's lots of efflorescence in the area. But I step back further, there's no kick out flashing in this area, and water's running down. This area, if I had to guess, uh, the substrate will probably be compromised here. I can't drill this area because this is not my inspection, no permission. This is just me inspecting it from the street level, just showing you what stucco issues look like. So here's my property. You can see where it's been freshly patched and painted. So this actually gets really hard for just a basic visual inspection and that's what they wanted today. They don't want me to drill into the stucco, but there's just a few areas that need to be corrected. We want to seal around the light fixtures. But what's nice is you can see they added in this overhead flashing. So I think they did do some repairs because there's no overhead flashing here or over here. So I think they had some work done, but what you really need to do whenever you look at this freshly patched and painted stucco is you have to sit there and look at it from several different angles. So we have uh, some sealant that needs to be done over here in this area. But if you step back and look, you can start to see where they patched over these cracks in these areas. I hope this shows up in the camera, but the same thing from this angle, you can see some cracks that have been patched and painted over. So, you know, even as a home inspector, it's really hard to even call these cracks because what if they just did a weird job at installing the texture, right? So, you know, we'll say that the stucco has been patched and painted, recommend to get more information on how it was repaired on, on the stucco. Again, another little spot that needs to be re sealed up a little bit better. Easy area for water to penetrate in this spot right here. And then also we're missing a weep screed at the base of this wall where it ends. Okay, I'm just down the street a little bit. Took a small walk, but if you ever see like rust coloring on the bottom side of your stucco, this is the first sign that it's starting to get really bad because you have three layers of stucco here or several layers of stucco, but what's holding your three coat stucco on is a metal lathe. And if that metal lathe starts to get a lot of water on it, it'll start to rust and it'll, you'll be able to start to see it rust through the actual three coat stucco. So this, if that means you do have some excessive amount of moisture behind the wall and you want to start taking remediation immediately to prevent any more damage to your property. Okay, yeah, so yeah, Tyler grabbed me real quick and we have evidence of prior termite tubes here. They're over here too as well where they were in place. They were knocked down recently and then we were pulling apart the bricks in this area. You can see the, the leftovers of them in this area. So 
you know they were actually coming in behind these bricks these blocks and that's why you recommend to store things 18 inches away from your structure this is a perfect area for termites okay walking around the exterior of the home there's a lot of fasteners that are pulled loose and the boards are starting to board a uh, bow out and you can see the fasteners are pushing through in the areas you can see, this is what it looks up high and you get a little better view of down low whoever installed the the harvest cement board just left a lot of exposed nails and they're not face nailed in properly uh, another spot over here you can see the the um, thermal pane loss of seal that's pretty minor you're gonna get that a lot here in Texas but this is one of the boards that are some of the worst you see how it's bowed out you have a faster push out too as well and then they didn't install overhead flashing at the trim pieces and this is why I call it out here because look you can see that water's been rolling down here for a while and now this board is starting to get eaten up so even in the hardy manufacturer it's required to put overhead flashing at trim pieces that where transitions end Ooh, got stuck all right same thing over here you need overhead flashing where the transition ends you can see the uh, where we have some water damage of the board warping out over time this could also be a little bit of settlement too of how the house is resting in this area pushing the board out a little bit coming around the corner here real quick on the ends you can see these are not properly set in they're not flashed they're not caulked even at all also this board is pulled out right here these are mechanical exhausts this is the range hood exhaust and this is the mechanical exhaust but right here you can see where the board is pushed out and we think that we're getting water penetration because right in this spot inside the home there is a water stain we didn't get any active moisture on the infrared camera but there's a lot of damage siding here but this is the only thing there's no bathroom that lines up over here and the water stain runs right in line with this board that's pulled out so we're going to recommend for exterior siding repair FYI if you're uh, punching the wall don't do it next to an outlet just if you ever decide to punch a wall for whatever reason don't do it next to an outlet because we normally tie our outlets to studs so you can break your hand just a just a small tip I almost forgot to do a Chris's Chris talk and uh, today I was talking to Tyler over here and he was talking about finding termites on a property he was happy that he was just able to do it 100% on his own so he knows how to identify them or the previous evidence of them and one of the things that I remember whenever I was in training was is one of my trainer he would find termites immediately and be like look there's termites instead of giving the trainee the time to find them or make the mistake of not finding them so they know what to look for so if you are training someone just make sure you take the time to let them fall down or pass something up to bring them back to let them know they find the item and that will build a stronger home inspector in the long run so that's Chris's Chris talk and please hit that subscribe button and catch us on the next one thanks guys bye okay it's hot it's summer that's a walkthroughs for you some of the exterior siding there if you have any home inspection questions please drop it in the comment section and please keep an eye out for our videos we make them weekly and hit that like and subscribe button thanks guys bye